guys, we just checked in here to the Dominican Republic and we met Peter and Inge because we saw from the outside a very crazy boat. Uh, it's all on, what, what's your, the, the name of uh, the boat? Very complicated. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah? Yankee Alpha, that's it. Yankee Alpha, okay, but it says free bird, electric, whatever on the side. It says fossil free around the world. That's how we do it. We do, do, not, do not need diesel, we do not need uh, gas, uh, petrol. We do everything really self-supporting. I saw wind energy and I saw solar panels. Also, also. But also, what else? I will tell you the secret trick. Not directly, but if you listen longer, I will tell you the secret trick. Oh, I'm curious. <laughs> I think it's a hydrophane, yeah. personally. Or is it more sophisticated? It is so much sophisticated that you would never think of it. It's just a sophisticated... No. It's just as sophisticated as a human being. Oh, I'm very curious. Well, guys, I'm going to have a tour around the boat, so check this out. We start not with the solar panels, we start with the core business. And what's your core business? It's the cooking. What will we eat tonight? Yeah. Or at least on our ship. Well, that, so, I, I think that Jip can agree on that one, eh, Jip? <laughs> if we cook water, we do not do it with like we did always with a with a kettle on a on a gas uh, uh, thing. Yeah. Gas we do it now electric. That takes a lot of energy. That takes a lot of energy during one and a half minutes, not even two. Explain. Minutes. Because if we now use this energy, this energy all goes into that element. Yeah. And that element heats directly the water. Yeah. In and also, here's double-sided, this is double-sided. Yeah. So there's hardly any, any heat coming out. Loss of there's heat. There's hardly any loss. Yeah. It's about a 90, 80 to 90% efficiency. Okay. If you compare it to that kettle you have that you put on your gas stove most of the heat comes around it fully agree it saves about 80 percent on the energy okay that's a good one so that's a good one it's not that it's 80 percent. no it saves you 80 percent so you only use 20 percent of the energy Go to induction as you see we just add our lunch it's with induction cooking and we do it then in the uh, also in the pressure cooker yeah induction itself heats the straight forward the bottom of the pan right now i'm heating one two three four five now this is hot hot watch out it's still yeah okay, yeah? yeah yeah and now there comes the sick this is cold yeah you see, all the heat again goes into that pan. That's what I want, onto the bottom. This saves us about 55%. Because we do it also in a pressure cooker, it saves again 20% 20 extra. And now comes the very big trick. This <laughs> is high tech, I tell you. What we also do, as soon as the thing as soon as this thing, or, or just your regular pot, says psh, and it cooks yeah let's let me show you we put it in here ah right we put it in here sorry sorry right bang and now it's still cooking only it cooks a little bit slower but that's oh, nice yeah. for us i mean especially when you're cooking and meanwhile uh, and when you're at sea cooking yeah you start cooking different things you have space and yeah. this is a great safe place. Oh, that's a this great idea, guys. Place. We call it... Uh, I've never seen that before. My grandmother used it as a young girl then. And then it was called a hay box. Mm. Well, now we do it with much better uh, insulation stuff and that kind of thing. So. Yep, yeah, what do you think about that one? That's pretty practical. That's pretty... Yes. I know, my brother had a trick. He had, uh, how do you call it, uh, where you keep the water warm in. 
uh, a thermal scan, put a little bit of cooking water in there, put the rice in there, close it again, and it will cook itself as well. So that's a little bit the same trick. Oh, so that's a good one, guys. I never thought about that one. We can we learn something from Peter here. Continue, Peter. I will tell you another trick. That's the one I'm you told about. If I see a regular fridge you buy just at your uh, at your boat shop, yeah. Uh, well, the designer says, well, uh, we need the, the the thing as big as possible because that's what uh, uh, mother uh, yeah. wants. And they end up with one centimeter or one and a half centimeter yeah, of insulation. insulation. We do not do that. No. We see that many skippers are the slave of their batteries because that bloody thing sucks all out of yeah. it. So our lid is 8 centimeter of PIR foam, which is a rather high quality foam. But 8 is just a little. I Here, think we are have a pretty thick one as well. You, you oh, already, not old yeah. school. Here it's 15, you see? And here, also there's behind it, that's also 15, 15, and only here is a little bit less, but it's all really packed. On the underside it's 20, so we have now a fridge, which is deep, yeah, you cannot, cannot yeah. see it, but it's about this deep, an arm length deep, and we have just... We have Fully isolated. Yeah, yeah, included, because we tried it out, and then it worked too well. Okay. <laughs> really, well, it worked too well. It was starting to freeze up. Everything was freezing up. So what we did then was making a freezing box in it. Oh. And now we have here a freezing box of about 20 liter, 25, doing minus 11 degrees Celsius. And this is then about uh, plus two or plus four. Uh, awesome. So. so, but you have it running on the very low energy or you switch it on and off every couple no, hours? No, nothing. I do nothing. Just the thermostat. And yeah. because it hardly starts running the yeah. compressor just okay. a regular compressor okay we don't put the compressor under the fridge no <laughs> because it loses its heat exactly off. we do it sideways a little bit it's somewhere there down in the in the in, cool. the, in, the, in, the, in the in the box this is now just a small consumer like your i don't know your gps or a, or, uh, or your plotter or so you know so Perfect. just so we're very happy well we got uh, five minutes and we've got like tens of uh, good <laughs> tips and tricks on saving energy on the boat what else well what we try to do is well use only what we need does that make sense yeah and that makes you in your head you would get a shift i show you what helps you to get with that to get that shift it's over there this meter shows me how full the battery bank is now. It's now 68, 86%. Uh, but this meter shows me how much goes in now. It's now yep. 200 something going in by yep. a tiny bit of wind and, and some solar panels. Yep. And it can show me, keep, keep on, I switch on the uh, electric heater now. Bang, there he goes. And now, you see, it's set to the minus uh, yeah. 1.8. And I'll switch it off again. Yeah. So you see what you use. You see what you use. And then you see people change. Yeah. So much. True. So much that when I use the, the engine, yeah, we, we get out of a lock. Yeah. So I give a bit of speed to make some speed for getting rudder and getting. Yeah. People then see that meter and say to me like hey peter come on uh, yeah you use 12 kilowatts come yeah on. yeah exactly yeah exactly <laughs> so they start correcting me yeah so that awareness is the big trick to use it's only what you need so right like once you get to see how much anything takes like uh, your yeah. fridge takes four amps indeed, indeed, yeah and indeed. uh people yeah. don't realize yeah, well, a lot of stuff, even like your radio can use like four or five amps if you're sending. People don't realize. Yeah, indeed. Uh, especially an autopilot, you know, yeah. takes four or five amps, yeah. but do that 24 hours. That's another yeah. half amps. That's a full battery. Indeed. Actually, it's two. Indeed. There was so, one, one uh, a guy who sailed with me. He said, you know, I have an autopilot. Yeah. And you know who learned me sailing? It's the batteries that were empty because my autopilot was using too much, much because my sails were not well trimmed. Or you trim better and then you use 
less. Only what you need true. of the of the autopilot. Very true. Very true. So the last most saving electrical okay. gadget. Use only what you need. Well, we use the wind, which is the wind vane self steering. You see, this is connected to that tap. That tap gives power, and with that power, we can here yeah, bring it with that chain down down to uh, our rudder, and our rudder steers actually based on the principle of the wind angle changing. Once costs you a lot, yeah. and then you're for your complete life. I, I mean, this thing already did one circumnavigation. Eh? Well, Arius, if you're looking, Vic and Yip can use one. So if you have a second one or use one, give us a shout. Yes. On the engines, you start them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, right. It starts, right? And now you continuously hear with your diesel, you hear something. But they already started. <laughs> okay, now the terrible noise. I will, because I'm on anchor, I will do it shortly. Yeah. I'm doing half power. Is that right? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Oh, that's insane. That's insane. Absolutely. That's pretty cool, eh, Yim? <laughs> yeah. It's like yeah. our old thingy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that is so nice. Do, you can listen more closely to the, uh, at the engine room. Sorry, I, I can only hear the the X. Okay. I do them back because otherwise yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. So only the axle you can hear turning. Yeah, you right, right. Yeah. yeah. The, the, the shaft, you mean. The yeah. shaft, okay. that's it, that's it. Ah. Oh. Okay. What, what do we do when we sail? These props are running. Yeah. For free. Hey. So we push in for the starboard. Yeah. This button. Yeah. Put this one back. Right. Yeah. And now it starts generating. An electric motor is, I mean, it's just one switch and you, you change it from- To a dynamo. Yeah, to, to a, an alternator. Alternator, sorry, that's the proper English word. Yeah. That's amazing. That's so, so cool. So, so you have beautiful. two alternators extra. Uh, yeah. That, that, that's a pretty expensive uh, hatch for an engine. Oh yeah, because <laughs> it's completely airtight. It is possible. Oh. A diesel needs air. Yeah. Okay. You cannot. But for me, it's airtight, so I have one complete airtight Dust free. And dust free, uh, uh, everything free. Yeah. And it can save me because now, at this time, the whole ship is together with all the insulation, uh, will ever will float. It yeah. Really, yeah? Okay. Awesome. Yeah, I know what you mean. And better than the Titanic. <laughs> anyway, now you see always the. Uh, we're wow. going to do a step forward <laughs> because wow that's a clean, clean <laughs> engine room <laughs> that's insane i'm sorry it's not that clean I wow wow paper. wow yeah, sorry ah. <laughs> okay that's incredible i can show you some things of it that is so high tech yeah. have a look chip <laughs> yeah that's clean yeah, that's, that's clean. <laughs> and uh, well, these are the two engine motors, uh, yeah. uh, generators for us, but still perhaps uh, motors for you. Yeah. Each with a controller. You see, this yeah. is a controller. This is actually something I don't understand, and everything I don't understand, I have a spare part with me. Yeah, okay. So, <laughs> and that's nice because if something breaks, it's always one of these things, yeah. and then it's simple. I take it off. I can unscrew these things. I mean, that's easy to unscrew, yeah. you see. I can unscrew it, put it in the box. Send it send, back. Send it back, and I got my spare one. So it never stops me. I never have to wait for engineers no. somewhere. And, and what's the, the, the piping? Uh, Very good question. What I said, I want it completely airtight. Yeah. So. And that's so nice about these uh, uh, engines also. These ones are cooled with fluid. Ah, you can do it. that with seawater, but yep. what I wanted mm. is make a real cool fluid system. Yep. And you see over there, under that thing, yep. is on the underside of the ship a box of just three centimeters. Yep. And there the fluid circulates Loses its heat. Loses its heat to the seawater and comes comes back 
Oh, awesome. Into the, into the engine. So it's a closed system. So I never have impellers that can break. No. I never have, uh, you know, uh, I have no, no problem with Sargasso yeah. because it's a closed system. Awesome. How do you like it, fully electrical? Well, it's fully electrical. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's fully automatic. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's one of the nicest way to cook on board, one of the safest ways, and you can regulate uh, anything. So it's not like the old fashioned electric cooking where you always had your stuff burned. It's, it's better than a petroleum stove, it's uh, a petrol stove. It's very, very high class. Uh, so uh, the induction uh, beats the gas stove. It does. It uh, does. Also because um, it, um, it generates less um, um, moist, moist. Yeah. moisture. So uh, if, you, if you put your, um, your pan on the, on the, on the stove, it, the, the gas itself doesn't evaporate. Yeah. I no, most people don't realize, but when gas evaporates, it just brings on uh, the, uh, the water molecules. So, yeah. Uh, anything you'd like to say to the world, Inge? Uh, save less, enjoy more. <laughs> I think that's a very well done, very well saying. Yeah. Uh, well, the last thing, I just want to see uh, the amount of solar panels you have. Right. And I think then we've got this boat covered. Is there anything <laughs> you want to know, Yip? Yip is still processing <laughs> everything you've just seen. <laughs> yeah. it's, a, it's different, it's one of a kind. The wind generator. Yeah, it's the wind generator and it runs now. It, uh, it's, uh, by the way, silent wind and they do some clever things on uh, when you are with less wind. But the trick is, whenever you use them, high, high, high gas wind. Here we got the solar panels. They really are powerful because they are very thin. And the other side, you can feel it. It's just one millimeter, and that means that they cool well. Okay. They are the big deliverers for uh, on the sun. Then we have here the deck panels. They're great because you can walk on it. Yeah. But you know the whole ship is insulated, so uh, it's glued on a thick piece of insulation. And they are also covered with plastic, so they can get warm or hot. And yeah. heat is not what we want. We want electricity out of it. So. These things don't do it that good. You want numbers? 400 uh, uh, watts peak power for the uh, wind generator, 720 peak power watt for the big uh, solar panels together, and this is 480. And we all do it on the 48 volt because the higher voltage you have, the better it is to make uh, the more efficient it is to make 220 out of it. True. Less conversion. Indeed. Uh, the engines are running on 48. Uh, well, that, that's about the story. <laughs> so guys, yeah. that's the story about Peter and his boat. And uh, well, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Peter, where can I follow you? On www.fossilfreearoundtheworld.org Well, follow Peter. We're going to keep in touch with him as well. And I uh, hope you guys learned something. Yip and I did. See you. Uh, Maybe in, uh, where are you going next? Uh, uh, Colombia, we make a beautiful tour through the Canal de Nique and a lot of water inside. Maybe see you there, Peter. <laughs> Thank you, Peter. Yo, yo, hey, hey. Hey, and last but not least, we're not forgetting about Inge. Inge, thank you so much for showing us your house. It's beautiful, we're stoked, and uh, uh, do you have any other websites to mention or where they can follow you on Facebook, Instagram or whatever? Oh no, just just uh, the fossil free around the world org is just fine. We'll and, do uh, that. We'll we, keep we it are going to follow you as well because you make interesting vlogs. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you. Inge, thank you for your time. <laughs> okay. See you next time. Yeah. Later. Bye bye. <laughs> Before you go guys, just one present. Fresh from the market. <laughs> oh, awesome. <laughs> we haven't had fish for a while. Yep. What we're gonna do with it? The oven? Eat. Oh, we're gonna do it in the oven. No, no, we do. We have a solar oven. Okay. <laughs> and what always works? Solar. Yeah. That always Thank works. Thank you guys. Okay. Thank you.